Steroids can reduce the risk of dying from COVID-19 by up to one third. The WHO now recommends that these drugs be given as a form of effective treatment for the disease. They can cause side effects, however, and often do more harm than good. For this reason, steroids tend to be given only to patients who are experiencing very severe forms of COVID-19 or patients who have underlying conditions that put them at heightened risk for severe disease. During COVID-19, the body launches what is called an inflammatory response. This form of immunity uh, is nonspecific and general across the body and is really aimed at trying to get rid of viruses. In some people, however, this response gets out of control, is bigger than it needs to be, and can cause damage. The patients that we see on ventilators or who are having issues with organ failure are experiencing this overactive immune response, more so than any direct effect of the virus itself. Steroids work to calm that immune response and bring it back into line with what is normal. So in a patient who has really mild COVID, you really don't want to give them steroids. You want to let their, their immune system do its job and take care of the virus. Additionally, the side effects of taking steroids can be quite detrimental, and these include increased risk of fungal and bacterial infections, gastrointestinal bleeding, and muscle weakness.